afternoon everybody it is 12 12 uh, Wednesday the 26th of April um, just want to share with you guys real quickly here with uh, everything the rumors of things that you're hearing what's going on and uh, threats of nuclear attacks and all that stuff we already know these things are gonna happen because what's written in the Word of God and uh, we also know it's a spiritual battle okay and uh, what's happening right now in front of us you know what we see in the world there's spiritual battles going on right now in front of us and most people aren't aware of that thing because they they haven't been uh, they haven't been shown what the truth is what's really happening it was told in the Bible, but it was never put together. Um, when Jesus revealed himself coming back in another person's body, when he told those guys that the, as they were coming in, young man, have you caught anything? And they said, nothing. He said, cast your nets on the other side. And they did. And when they did that, one of the disciples said, it is the Lord. And that's when they were revealed at that time when they came to shore they seen that they didn't know who the person was but they knew the Lord was in him and they knew it they dared not ask him well that's only the one time that it's mentioned in that Bible okay but it's there you know if people would have been studying it staying in the word of it you would have known what's going on here today Things like when Jesus would remove a demon from somebody, he'd say, sin no more, or something worse can happen to you. <coughs> um, when in the end times where it says, you know, God said he's going to send your enemies against you, it's spiritual, okay? He's going to destroy this. Every nation, that Bible is full of uh, every time you turn on God, what he does to you okay and the spirits this is spirits turning on you these bodies are a host and Jesus said I am the Lord of hosts now whether that be Chinese um, French African it don't matter he's the Lord of all hosts so and everything is created for his pleasure okay whether it be good or evil and uh, everything is going to do his will. And it, you know that's why it was all created. But he's basically letting uh, those that are wise know what's going on. Now in Daniel 12.10 it says, The wicked will continue to do wickedly and they will not understand. Okay, because they're worldly. They're just not, they're not among the wise. They're not the ones that are separated. They're not the ones that are going to get this new heavenly body that's uncorruptible. Okay, if they were, they would be among the wise and they would understand. But they're not going to understand. Um, the Lord has shown me a lot. He's revealed a lot to me. Made me see a lot. And what I, what I was witnessing and seeing was a lot to see. And it was hard to understand what I was seeing because it was like as if it was being done in broad daylight. You know, and it is. It's right it's being done in front of us. Everything is being acted out like Hollywood. Everything that they're doing, you know. Um, the buildings, everything that's going on, it's all spiritual. It's not man running nothing here. Um, we're given freedom of choice that's why Jesus said sin no more something worse can happen um, you guys can see that spirit above my head blowing that trumpet so I said you got to have the blood of Christ on you okay at little clock it means you guys and I've been doing this for three years now it meant there was little time okay little now I think this message is starting to get out more faster now and uh, people are starting to understand more but at the same time I've got the scoffers coming in and then not everybody's who they say they are 
and they're going to come in here and try to make me out to be a bad guy, you know, when uh, I'm just trying to tell you the truth, what's going on. And when God says, I will send them strong delusion, he said, I will pick their delusion. In other words, um, they're not going to... They're not going to see it coming. They're not going to know or be aware or nothing. Also, it says, excuse me, drove last night quite a while. I got a little bit of sleep, not much, but I'm going to just see if I can't take another nap. But uh, it warned also, don't let these days come upon you unaware. Okay? Don't let these days come upon you unaware. I was just in there doing my laundry in the truck stop here. They had a bunch of pamphlets in there from the Jehovah Witness. And, <laughs> and it said, uh, live like living your best life now and living in prosperity. Yeah. And these are just now new being put out by them. Talk about blind, huh? It's worldliness, man. And that's why, you know, it says in here it says those that are of the world are not of God they're of the they're of the world you know you can't serve two masters you'll love one and you'll hate the other I can't understand why this is so unbelievable you know James chapter 4 verse 4 Ye adulterers, know ye that the friendship of the world is an amenity with God. Therefore, uh, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he says, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now, that's the word of God saying this. You know, if you resist him, he'll, he'll flee from you, because it says he will. Okay? God created everything. Okay? It, if you're seeking what's in the world, then, you know, he's going to be right there with you, the devil, and he's going to uh, tell you it's all prosperity and loving your best life now um, it's not the truth you know what I mean the word of God everything's in here I can't believe that the church is preaching what it's preaching today but it is okay it is nothing's going to change that now alright Love not this world, neither the things that are in this world. If any man loves this world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay? And we're supposed to love him first, before anything. Okay? Jesus said, if, you, if you're not worthy of him, if you don't pick up your cross and follow him, you're not worthy of him. All these things are getting ready to come to an end. Sorry, you guys. I'm tired. I'm going to probably have to take me a little siesta if I can. might be a little too hot in here. It is very hot back there. But, uh... Man. We're in these times and most people can't even see it. You know? Where it says the coming apostasy. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, high-minded, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof aye, aye. Uh, yea and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution yeah you don't see these 
churches seem don't seem to be having that problem, do they? They're living in prosperity, prosperity, not persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. You know, the Bible even tells you woe to the inhabitants of the earth because uh, the devils come upon you. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. But yet here they say prosperity. They don't even talk about that. They don't even mention it. You know, when I say these demons are jumping in, hosting people, I'm going to tell you, man, when you see these red streaks in their hair, it's like, remember when Jesus Christ had that crown of thorns put on his head? His hair bled in spots like that. That's why they're doing the hair like that. Even though they don't know it, but that's why they're doing it. This is a spiritual battle, you guys. And there's there signs that for you to see, those that are wise, you know, to see. Most people are not aware. Most people are not aware of this. And, uh,. There's a reason why he warns you. It says, "Yeah, don't let these days come upon you unaware." Yeah, he's not. He's given us multiple years. I've been warning people for three years. I've seen all kinds of signs: water turning red multiple times in multiple places, animals and fish dying all over the place. You know, all around the world. I mean, he's done everything he can do, man, to show us the signs, and still yet, they don't want to believe. You know, these are the days of Noah, man. People are still getting married, eating, drinking, and loving their lives. Even with things like the uh, chemtrails being sprayed in the air. Because the Bible, in Revelations, it does. It speaks about when uh, the brightness of his coming. Okay? How he's going to be the heat. As he's coming, the heat. What do you think they're spraying? They're trying to keep it cooler from the brightness, the heat. Um, they don't want people to see what's happening. Okay? They don't want you to see what's happening. And sadly, the churches don't, you know... They don't seem to know this, you know, that it says, by the brightness of his coming. As he approaches, the things on this earth are going to be burnt up. You know, that's why I had that dream about getting out of the way. And uh, I believe it was in Isaiah. I believe it was in Isaiah. Let's see. I think it was in Isaiah, like, uh, 28 or something. Yeah, 26. Come, my people. See, when he says come, that's like the rapture being taken away. It's in here multiple times, you know. The words don't have to be, you know, like the twinkling of the eye. That's the same thing as come. When he calls us, that's it. We're gone. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors. See, that's what I had a dream of. I was shutting the door and I was going to hide myself. As if it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. What's the indignation? That's where he's coming down out of his place. To do what? To punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. See, of the earth, when he says come, we're no longer on the earth. All right, we're gone. And, uh, Behold, the name of the Lord cometh from afar, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof heavy on his lips, full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire. You know, it's going to be, uh, 
it's time. Let's just say it's time. You know? The time's upon us. I told you guys this photo. I took it in 77 when I was 17. And, uh... I'm going to be 57 in May. And we know the Jewish calendar is 5777. And I took this in 77 when I was 17. But now I'm going to be 57. I mean, what are the odds that I would be 57 years old the same time as the Jewish calendar? And I got a photo that was taken in 77. Okay, when I was 17... Then by the time I turn 57, it's the same as the Jewish calendar with this. Not only that, you can see a white horse with a bathtub and an angel blowing the trumpet above my head. What are the odds of that? You know, not to mention he gives me a lot of uh, dreams and visions. I've seen a lot of stuff which is getting ready to come. And I'm not saying it boastfully, I'm just telling you. It's, it's getting ready to happen, man. And uh, people ain't going to be ready for it. They're not going to be ready for this. The majority of people won't be ready. The scoffers that are coming up against me, trying to get me fired or whatever they're doing. Uh, I've said it bunches of times. And even the scoffers can see what I'm saying. But I've told you a lot of them have a demonic spirit in them. Okay? They don't even know what they're doing. They're like puppets. They don't know what they're doing. They're being controlled by an, an identity. It's that evil, that wickedness that's inside of them. That's what's controlling them. That's making them, filling them with hate. It's an evil. They can't help but do what they do. Okay? And uh, I told you, I don't hate them. You know, why should I hate them? You know? Because I know what it is that's doing it. The person, they can't help. They're, they're not in control. So I don't hate these people. But if these demonic spirits are in them and they got possession of them, I'm not, you know, if God's got them under strong delusion or if God doesn't free them. Because see, that's where our grace comes in. He removed these demonic spirits from us, okay? Separated us. So that, because nobody would make it otherwise. Nobody. Okay? There's a lukewarm out there. They could they could come around, but for some reason why they, they're not. You know, maybe they're under strong delusion. I don't know. Only God knows that. Um, but if they're not getting the message, and I've tried warning all those people for a long time, and they're just not getting the message, you know? Then it says to comfort one another with these words... Well, let me tell you, I've met a lot of people out there over the years that were very, very glad uh, excuse me, to hear to hear that message. They were very glad to get it. And, uh, and it did comfort them. We don't have long, you guys. But anyhow, I'm going to lay down and take me a nap. I just want to let you guys know. Um, stay close to the Lord. Remember, this is a spiritual battle now. Don't be thinking in the flesh. Because even the news media, all this stuff, man. They're all being controlled right now. Okay? That's not who they... They're not going to tell you the truth of what's going on. They're not going to tell you. They have no idea to tell you the truth. They're doing exactly they're like a puppet. You know, they're going to act out and do exactly what's being controlling them. And uh, as far as the war, threatening the rumors and nukes, all that stuff, the Word of God says this is going to happen. A lot of people are going to be destroyed, okay? You just have to accept all that stuff. Don't even worry about it. Just The thing is, that, you know, it says the wicked will continue to do wickedly and they won't understand. But the wise will understand, okay? Therefore, we just need to um, accept that. And, you know, it is what it is. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen exactly according to God's Word. The Bible says the final conclusion is the Word of God. Okay? 
that's what's going to happen. And yeah, you know, for anybody to try to guess or think or say something different, all your answers are right there in the Bible. You're not going to get it on the six o'clock news. You might hear and start seeing the uh, demonic stuff coming out of them. I, I posted one of the anchors from uh, World News hissing like a snake. I posted it on there for you guys to hear it. It was a popular one. Uh, I've seen them uh, cut people off when they started talking about Christ. Psh, cut the TV screen right off. You know? It's real, you guys. You just gotta open your eyes and you gotta look at it from the spiritual. And quit thinking that, you know, we're in charge in the flesh and stuff like that. You, God told you these bodies are corruptible. They're corruptible. In other words, he's got a new body for us that's going to be uncorruptible, but these bodies are corruptible. Okay, these demonic spirits, that's what some of these attacks are, some of us are having. I've had them a lot. I've, they were worse in the beginning. But, uh, you just have to believe in what's written in the Word of God. And there's more. <laughs> he said the Bible's a mystery. Because most people don't understand it, especially when they're living in prosperity. Okay, because that's an illusion. All these worldly things. Wait, wait till they see, man. Once food's taken away, man, I don't care what you got. You're going to be looking at all this stuff like it's all the devil. God didn't give us all this stuff here, man. The devil and all these people that greed, the lust of what's in this world, that's what's destroying it. You know, all the things that people want and live the way they're living. You know, it's crazy, but that's the way it is. Anyhow, God bless you guys. I'm going to try to get me a little bit of sleep and uh, look up, man, for our redemption draws nigh. It's very close. We don't have very much time. Just uh, be ready. God bless you guys. Remember, it's a spiritual battle, okay?